Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making the easiest thing in the world. The easiest dessert you have ever made. It's a um, peach fluff and I'll tell you what, once you make it, everyone will love it. And it's something you can make if you have company coming over and you don't have anything made and you think, oh my gosh, what am I gonna give them for dessert? You've always got Cool Whip, um, a box of, this is a, <clears throat> I get my glasses on. Well, where's my glasses? But where am I could tell you where they're at? You've got a 3.4 ounce box of vanilla instant pudding, okay? And a can of peaches, a couple, um, two cups of marshmallows, the mini marshmallows. Now, Normally you would use white ones, but since it's Easter, I'm thinking Easter now, uh, I'm gonna use the colored ones. And the um, Cool Whip is your small container, and it's only a eight ounce of, and then half a cup of pecans. Now, if you don't wanna use pecans, you don't have to, but, um, we like them, so I'm going to use them. But that's all you do. It, that's all you use. Now, I don't like to get a whole piece of orange, so I'm just sticking a knife down in here, going that way, going four times. One, two, three, four, in my peaches to cut them up a little bit because I don't want a whole peach to get that in my mouth at one time. So, <clears throat> anyway, that's all you do to um, make this dessert and it's very easy, very good. It's something that even the children can make if they want to. And I think that cut them all up. If it didn't, we'll go like this and cut them up. But uh, this is a very simple, 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 easy recipe. You can double it if you want to, if you're having company and they got children, and you have children, just double them. So, this is my peach fluff. So, I know the first one time I made this, and oh my goodness, we were, it was after church, there was a ball game on, it's always a ball game on, seems like, and uh, my husband decided he's going to buy company. I wasn't going to have company because I wouldn't plan on having company. So I was just going to stop and on the way home and eat and go home and relax with the family. No, my husband's standing there and he said to me, he says, I invited, I don't know who it was, over for dinner. I'm like, you did what? You invited who? Well, what are you gonna cook? Well, can't you fix something real quick? Uh, not really. I hadn't planned on it. Planned on going out. So here they come over and she says, well, what can I bring over? And I'm like, well, I'm really not quite sure. Um, I don't know what we're gonna have. I planned on stopping and eating out. And she said, oh, this is one of those times that the husband didn't tell you. Yes. Then I felt bad when I said that. So, I'm gonna dump this in. So she says, well, let's just make, try get something on the way home. I said, well, that sounds good to me. So we told them. So my husband says, well, I'll just stop and pick up a bucket of chicken. How's that sound? Because he thought he'd make up to me because he knows I love chicken. Okay, put your pudding in and you stir it up. I said, that's fine. And she looked at her husband, she says, well, since you got us into this, why don't you just get the potatoes and 
something else. And he said, I can do that. And then you ladies can just make the dessert. Because he knows I've always got dessert around. And I'm thinking, don't be cute about it. And he, she said, well, she's trying to think of someone we can stop and get some dessert. And I said, uh, and you just want to stir this up real good so you don't have any lumps in it. Any little tiny lumps in it. Because you don't want any lumps in it. That smells good. And I looked at her and said, yeah, we'll make dessert. And she said, what are you going to make? I said, oh, I've got something I can make real quick. She said, you've always got something you can make quick. I said, well, I do. So I came went on home and I got these ingredients out and I doubled it and it was so funny because by the time the guys got in and had their stuff out and I one of them set the table because they thought we were still mad I was still mad and my husband come over and he said are you still mad and I says no I'm not mad, but don't you ever do that again without telling me you're going to. And he said, well, I'm sorry. And I said, oh, you're not sorry. I said, you'll do it again next week if you, check, if you decide you want to. And he says, no, I won't. He says, not with the look you gave me. And I said, well, I'm sorry. I said, I always like to have the table set, have everything ready, have everything nice and prepared. And you pull a trick like that? Mm -mm. No, no, no. You don't do that to me. So anyway, I told her, I says, do me a favor and go we'll get me a nice bowl out of the china cabinet to put this in. So by the time she got in there and got me a nice bowl, china bowl and everything, got back in the room where I was at, I had it mixed up. Because as you can see, it don't take long. So after you get it all your peaches and your pudding mixed together. Then you put your marshmallow, I mean your uh, whipped cream in it, Cool Whip. And if you don't want to do Cool Whip, if you want to get real fancy about it, you can make your own whipped cream. But I didn't want to do that. <clears throat> so I got this mixed in real good because otherwise your orange is going to show through with, it's going to be orange and white and you don't want that. You want orange, just a real faint orange color. So by the time the guys got everything done and everything, I had it made. So, and then you put your marshmallows in and I'm just gonna put these in. I think they're so pretty for Easter. Oh, this is gonna be pretty. And this is something you can make real, what was that noise? This is something you can, I've got my grandson's dog, he's making, a, she's making a noise. This is something you can put, make real fast for Easter. She's getting her a drink. Sorry about the noise. But those pinks and the greens, aren't those pretty with that peach? This is gonna make a pretty dessert. Now, <clears throat> I do, I do want to, um, I love these lids. My son sent me those, of course, you know him. I just supposed to put about a half a cup and I think that's probably about a half a cup. If it's not, that is. Anyway, yes, my son sent these lids to me and I just love them. He's always doing something sweet. And see, it's made. And how long did that take? It would have taken half that time had not been running off with my mouth. Get this out of the way. Get my spatula back over here. But it don't take no time to make this orange fluff. And it's something that everybody loves. Oh, isn't that pretty? 
I like the colors. You can't see them real well. They're real faint in there from those marshmallows. Those are pretty, but I just thought I'd use the colored ones for Easter instead of white. White would have given it an, a different kind of a color, and I didn't want that. Now you can, really, you can keep this in your refrigerator for up to two to three days after you make it. If it lasts that long, I don't think it would. But if it does, you, you can um, refrigerate it for two to three days. But I, it's not gonna last that long. It ain't gonna last that long in my house, I know. But uh, if, if by chance it did, two to three days, but after that, can't have it in there any longer. So, but I hope everybody tries this, especially for Easter, because we're all so busy at Easter time. And um, I'm gonna try a little bite of it. I am. Try a little bite because I think it's gonna be good. Put it in the refrigerator and get it cold and it'll be better. Okay. Those, oh, and a, a big old chunk of peach showing in that. Mm. Then you got your colored marshmallows. That is so pretty. I'm sure everybody's gonna love that, but it didn't take no time to make that. That's one of those dishes we all need. See how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty with all those colors? I'm sorry, Abby, you don't get none. I'm sorry, honey. The kids are in Florida. They left Abby with me. She's a good dog. Let's try this. Mmm. Those guys thought it took us a long time to make it because we stood in the kitchen and made a whole bowl up before we went in the other room. And they were nice to us all day. Nicer than normal. It's good enough the Easter Bunny would like it. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm hoping y'all have a good Easter. I know I plan on having a good Easter because I'm going to spend Easter with my great grandbabies, all nine of them. It's gonna be so much fun. Can't, you just can't beat that when you can have a day with all, you, all your grandbabies, grandchildren, great grandbabies, and your kids. I hope, but I hope everybody has a wonderful Easter. And I hope you try this. Let me know if you do. Let me know if you like it. You may have already tried it. So, from me and my family, to you and yours. Happy Easter. And remember, we're going to have Easter egg hunts, but that's not what Easter's about. Remember to tell your children while we have to celebrate Easter. And you guys all have a good Easter. We love you so much. So, happy Easter. We love you. And thank you bunches for being with us.